Hello again folks and welcome back. Um, this video is going to deal with feeding your plants because now we've got seeds in, we've got potatoes in, we've got all sorts of things going on in our micro allotment. So we're going to have to think about feeding our plants, aren't we, at some stage. So we're going to talk about major plant nutrients to begin with and the fact that you've probably got everything in your household to actually feed your plants without going to the supermarket or without going down to the garden centre because you just can't at this particular point in time. So major plant nutrients are nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus and nitrogen gives healthy green growth, potassium gives fruits and flowers, boosts fruit and flowers and phosphorus gives uh, good root growth. So we give those plant foods for the crops that give us those attributes. Um, we also need to talk about magnesium and we need to talk about calcium as well because they're, they're also major plant nutrients that we need to be dealing with and giving our plants. So I'm going to start with soluble aspirin. So soluble aspirin contains salicylic acid. And we know for hundreds of years that if we chew on the bark of the acid, it helps to ease our uh, headache. But if we actually drop two of these, these are 300 milligrams by the way, into a four pint bottle of water, you can feed a whole host of plants because plants produce salicylic acid naturally to boost their immune systems. So if you're giving them additional salicylic acid, it's helping them to fight off diseases and pests and infections. There's your first one. The second thing I want to look at is Epsom salts. Now Epsom salts you'll use to drop into your bath to ease your aches and pains. But actually the major constituent is magnesium sulphate. And magnesium is a major part of the photosynthetic process. That's where plants actually make their food. So if you're given them magnesium, then you're helping them to feed themselves. As well as magnesium builds healthy structures within plants. Two tablespoons in a gallon watering can and water on to your uh, vegetable plants and you're giving them that magnesium. Brown tips on tomatoes, leaves, is normally a magnesium deficiency. Pop the rose on the can, again two tablespoons, into a gallon watering can. Just flush over the leaves and you'll cure that magnesium deficiency. You can sprinkle this across the surface as a top dressing. You can put it in as a base dressing so you've taken out your planting hole and again you're giving them that magnesium they actually need to grow. Now we're going to move on quite quickly to tea bags. Now if you want an instant fix and an instant brew to actually help your plants uh, to grow, well here it is and it's a, an elixir folks. So I've got around about 25 tea bags. I'm going to find a container that I just happened to have in the garden, this was Rooster Booster, um, and we're just going to drop those tea bags into the actual container itself. We've all got tea bags, now, if I come around here, we literally fill that with water. Right to the top, folks. And then pop the lid on, and then stir once every week for around about three weeks and then you've got an instant liquid feed that you don't need to dilute and you can effectively feed that to a whole range of plants, let alone your vegetable plants. Move on to something more organic now and something you might have in the garden and something you may not have in the garden. But I've got some borage, we've got loads of borage here in the garden and uh, borage is fantastic and really is a balanced sort of plant food for you to have in the garden, but does give you slightly more potassium than anything else. Now we're gonna make what's called a compost tea. And effectively, what you need to do with your borage is pick and then break the stems and the leaves. Now the reason for you doing that is all those nutrients, NPK remember, are actually leached out into your compost tea. And then again, what we do is we throw that into a bucket and you want about half the bucket full of your borage. And then once again, you fill that with water, pop a lid on it, and then effectively leave it for around about three weeks, and you'll have this lovely smelly liquid that is wonderful, which you need to reduce down to one part borage and 10 parts water. I'm gonna finish off quite quickly with nettles bound to have a patch of nettles in the garden and this is absolutely ram jam full of nitrogen 
and nitrogen gives you that lovely healthy green growth on your plants so again twist break those leaves you can hear them turning into the leaves and effectively break them up and that will help the nettles to uh, release those nutrients pop that into a bucket and again around about half full fill that up with water right to the top pop a lid on there and then basically leave that for three weeks giving it a stir every week now one final tip is your milk carton when you wash it out is full of calcium and calcium is a major plant nutrient and helps plants to flocculate flocculation is the uh, drawing in of nutrients into the plant system through the soil so there's negative and positive ions and calcium helps your plants to do that so instead of tipping it down the sink try it on your veg try it on your hanging baskets try it on your patio pots i promise you won't fail folks so there is a range of liquid uh, feeds that you can actually make yourself from things that you've got at home you don't need to go out to the supermarket you don't need to go to the garden center and it doesn't need to be expensive and you can now essentially be pretty self-sufficient by making your own fertilizer feeding your plants right up to harvest what do you think about that then folks